Why do we have blocks, blind spots, stuckness sometimes in our life, relationships, business growing, and health? Hi, everyone. I'm Lottie Cooper, and I'm here to support you in having awakening, happiness, joy, prosperity, better health in all areas of your life. And today we're going to discuss subconscious repatterning and what it is and how your subconscious might be holding you back from what you want to create in your life with your family, with your life purpose, with your dreams, with manifesting money. So I've been on this journey a while and I have uh, a master's in body-centered clinical psychology and I've studied 50 modalities, healing modalities, and work with thousands of people all over the world to help people out of suffering. I've come from a divorced family. I felt homeless at the age of eight. Neither house was safe and I ran away to boarding school because I was a nerd. Two schools, three colleges, three massage schools, graduate school, psychic school, studied with masters around the world to learn the secrets and tips and processes so we could heal faster because I've always been a full body empath and wanted to help people out of pain and suffering. So do you have any pain and suffering? All of us do on some level. So today's topic is about what are these blocks and blind spots? Where do they come from if they're not obvious? So a lot of it is from the subconscious mind. Dr. Bruce Lipton talks about in the biology belief that things are in our subconscious mind that is created between the ages of in the womb to age eight. When we're babies to little children, as our brain is developing, we have mirror neurons and we need to mirror our parents. So our parents teach us things or our caregivers teach us things or those around us teach us things and we absorb them like a sponge. So whatever words, beliefs, energies, emotions that are around us at the time, we absorb the good ones and the painful ones. So when there is something called a mixed message, mom says one thing, do it this way, dad said do it this other way, and now you're on your own, do you follow mom's guidance or do you follow dad's guidance? Uh Uh-oh, now there's a conflict. If I follow mom's guidance... Dad will get upset if I follow dad's guidance. Mom will get upset. So then you sometimes do one or the others. You feel like you might feel guilty or shame about it because then the other one gets mad. There's negative consequences and conflict. And all of that gets stored in our physical body and in our brain structure. Based upon what happened with these mixed messages, be it around work, school, your behavior, how you eat, how you dress, What things you choose, are you fast enough or perfect enough or good enough? You might start making a whole list of negative beliefs in your head because you're not even meeting up to the standards of your parents, which you need to to survive. So these energies, these belief structures then get lodged in our behavior patterns, our thinking patterns, and our emotional patterns and how we live in the world how we strive to move forward. Sometimes we're reacting or rebelling against. Sometimes we're people-pleasing. Sometimes we're happy just doing our own thing. It depends what the messages were from when we were younger. So why subconscious repatterning is so important is first to know what are those beliefs that are holding you back. I'm not enough. Maybe I feel lazy, maybe I feel stupid, even though intellectually you know that's not true. Underneath, you feel that way, and that's the operating system. This can cause anxiety, this can cause eating disorders, this can cause dis-ease in the body, depression, addiction, all sorts of things, these beliefs. So I invite you to just take a deep breath and notice inside you what beliefs might be running the show for you. That's right. Make a list of these beliefs. Is it a lack of belonging? Do you feel lovable? Do you feel like there's a soulmate out there for you? Do you feel like you'll never make it enough money? Are you really successful but still underneath feel insecure? 
What's going on for you in your psyche, deep in your unconscious or your conscious because they, they sometimes come out with your inner critic? And then what do you do about it? So the first step is insight. In a lot of therapies and counselings, you have an insight and you learn to live with it. Well, do you want to just settle for mediocre and live with this negative belief that's sitting there? Or you do lots and lots and lots of affirmations to try to undo that belief. And sometimes that works, but it can be very, very slow and tedious. So one of the things I've been trained in is is to repattern the subconscious mind. And how that works is I would do a guided meditation for you to go into that theta brainwave, the same state of consciousness you were between zero and eight years old. That's right. And then we would expose these beliefs that you learned. Then we would pull the belief out and put in a new belief. And it can actually happen quite quickly. We also do not, when you're in that theta brainwave, you do not have to live the past traumas and things that have happened to you. We can just dig around, ask the right questions to dig underneath the belief, find the root cause of it, and then release it, and then give you a new blueprint. That's the main thing. You're not going to release your survival pattern, your defense mechanism, your coping mechanism that keeps your mind thinking that's how we have to survive. Unless we have a replacement plan. Otherwise, it's too scary. A lot of times what holds beliefs in place is shame. Keeping things secret. Never talking about it. Also things that hold things in place is like, oh, well, my mom and dad's like it. It's tradition. Or I won't belong if I release that belief. So there's an, it's called an ecology check. One of the things after we pull out the negative belief that we have to do is we have to create a new inner world of mothering and fathering inside your heart. So now you're not looking for approval from your mother and father outside of you. You become the mother and father to your younger selves. So they get the love, approval, affection, and attention and acknowledgement that they need. So this is a part of the journey, the transformational healing journey that I take people through, usually over six months to a year. So I wanted you to know that that is possible. You can clear out these core negative beliefs, give them new beliefs, so your new structure feels like I am enough, I am worthy, I am lovable, I love myself, I fully accept myself. I can go through the day without judging or criticizing myself and others. Can you imagine who you would be without all this negative programming? How would your relationships be? When you're clear from that negativity and that subconscious is not in conflict with what you consciously want, what freedom can you have in your business to grow your business to however level you want to grow it and with the types of people you want working with you? Where would you live if you didn't have stuck energy and constriction around what other people think about you? What type of relationship would would you be in if you can communicate honestly without getting triggered or without yelling because you have the tools and understanding of real love and care and compassion so when your partner might say something, even if it's mean, you don't take it personally. It has nothing to stick to. You just recognize they might be in pain in that moment or they feel they need to control because they don't have the tools themselves. They're still looking outside for the answers instead of inside. So just imagine what you could do when you have access to your subconscious mind. You can repattern it with love and abundance and joy. Easy communication, understanding the masculine, understanding the feminine in such a good, beautiful way. Knowing how to feel your feelings without acting out the tension patterns. Feel your feelings without having to have conflict or eat something or smoke something or drink something because you're safe to feel. What would your life be like? So 
So exposing this new way of thinking, shifting your perspective, there are many techniques that are there to shift these perspectives. But going back into the subconscious mind, you can change it permanently on a body level, on a DNA level even, a past life, future life level, and a soul level. We work on all four levels when we go into that theta brainwave. So wherever you are now, if this resonates with you and you'd like to go deeper, I'm offering for people, at least right now, I'm offering a free consultation to see how I can serve you in creating your dreams and repatterning your mind. If this interests you, I invite you to go to LottieCooper.com. That's my name, L-O-T-T-I-E-C-O-O-P-E-R dot C-O-M. And we can work together so you can have love and joy and happiness and abundance from within. And then it will start to transform outside in your life as well. So thank you for listening. I hope this inspired you that you can live a more fulfilled life.